Welcome back. They're catching the attention of Washington, and though their faces may not be familiar yet, America's rising political stars are the future of our country. Today's up-and-comer is Democratic New York Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. Born and raised in Brooklyn, New York, Jeffries won a seat in the House of Representatives in 2012, succeeding a 30-year incumbent. Now entering his second year inside the Beltway, Congressman Jeffries is making wonderful waves in Washington. Joining me now is Congressman Hakeem Jeffries. Good morning, Congressman. How are you? Good morning. Good to be on. Uh, happy you're here. Let's look at an issue, and then we can talk about a couple of other things. The African-American unemployment rate has increased in the United States from 9.1% in 2008 to 121 in 2014. David Webb here of Fox asks the NAACP marchers if President Obama has failed the black community. Let's listen to this together, and then I want you to comment on that, Congressman, please. Black unemployment's about double the national rate, and that's, that's a real tragedy. Are you frustrated with President Obama? Do you think he's failed? No. 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 Right. I think he's tried, and I think that Congress has failed him. Didn't he promise us more? Has he failed? I don't think so. He's working real hard, and Republicans are trying to keep him from moving forward. You think the president, President Obama, has failed, has failed the black community? No. I think Republicans have failed. I think the Congress has failed. Okay. They have not done their job. Congressman, so in, in those responses, a lot of people said, well, you know, the, the, the Congress has not uh, failed, either uh, has not performed either Democrats or Republicans or both. What do we do about intractable black unemployment in this country that seems to be getting worse? Well, I think the president has done a very good job under difficult circumstances. Uh, black unemployment under his presidency has actually come down since peaking uh, during the high of the Great Recession. And in fact, in 2013, uh, there was a two plus point uh, improvement in lowered black unemployment. It's still too high, but it's still too high for Americans of every race and region and religion all across the country. I think what Congress needs to do is to begin to work together with the administration, invest in the American economy, invest in transportation and infrastructure, invest in technology and innovation, invest in research and development, invest in putting Americans back to work. We've made progress, more than seven million jobs in the private sector created during this presidency, uh, but we can all work together Democrats and Republicans to do a whole lot more for our country. Working together is so important, and so many Americans are disappointed in the conventional politics. Now, look at your own life. You ran against conventional politicians, and after a lot of failure in the beginning, you were successful, and now you're being successful in Congress. What's the message of that in terms of bringing people together and getting out of the box in terms of conventional Democratic and conventional Democrat, uh, Republican pol politics in this country? Well, I think the members of Congress who were elected in 2012, Democrats and Republicans, all were sent to Washington with a mission that we want you guys to work together, regardless of your race, your region, your religion, regardless of whether you're Democrats or Republicans, regardless of whether you're from suburban America, urban America like myself, or rural America, we've got a collective set of problems and we all got to work together. Now, there have been some partisan moments here in Washington during my first term, but there have also been some moments of opportunity where I've been able to partner with friends on the other side of the aisle, for instance, as it relates to patent reform. I'm a member of a bipartisan task force on overcriminalization in America. Five Democrats, five Republicans, some very conservative Republicans, some very progressive uh, Democrats all working together to try, with, try and deal with the problem of criminal justice reform uh, in America as it affects the overreach by the federal government. And so these are signs of progress, even amidst the partisanship. And I'm just hopeful that I can continue to be part of the solution here thank because you. that's what the people of Brooklyn and Queens sent me to do. Congressman, thank you so much. We'll leave it there. We hope to see you a lot here on Fox and Friends and on the Fox News Channel. Good to see you. Good luck. Thank you. Good to see you. Good.